Apa khabar semua? Nama saya Suresh dan selamat datang ke satu episod yang paling terhebat di seluruh dunia. Rancangan Segar. Say what? I'm just gonna put it out there. That's as Malay as this episode is ever gonna get. That's right. We are at episode 4 and today we're gonna be talking about typical Malay slangs that everyone should know. Like, if you're Malaysian, you should definitely know this. It, there is no excuse. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the like and the share button. And also, do not forget to like my page. And don't forget to get some love on my YouTube account. Because, yeah, I've only probably got like 30 followers. But, eh. What a pity. Huh? Anyways, jom kita lompat dalam episode ini. My Malay is so bad! No shit, Sherlock. So if you are Malaysian, you are for sure guilty of using Malay slangs. No matter whether you're speaking in English, Tamil, or even Mandarin. You would have for sure mixed up these languages. But that's the whole point. We are all Malaysians. We're meant to be Roja. We, we speak three, four different languages in one sentence. And that is the whole beauty of Malaysia. We often speak sentences that's got like four languages in them. There is nowhere else in the world that speaks this way. Singapore, please, you do, you know you don't count. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Anyways, if you are here to learn new slangs, let's start off with number one, karat. The direct translation of karat means rusted? Karat is meant to describe gangster looking people. I don't know if that's the best way to put it. But to all Malaysians out there, I don't know if you know these group of people called the Hot Stuffs or... They're not even hipsters. Hipsters are different. But these guys are the guys with the either fanny packs or sling bags all the way up to their chest. They wear shorts or skinny tight jeans with slippers. They wear polo t-shirts. Polo t-shirts with numbers around them. To be honest, I think the word karat comes from, I don't know, rusted brains. That's why you dress like that. I mean, I'm not judging people. I'm just explaining what the meaning of the word is. So if I got the word karat wrong, let me know down below. Next up, we got those typical mud rumpets. Now, rumpet actually originated from the word rampit. And ramp it, ramp it, like R-A-M-P-I-T. Ramp it. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Now, rampit is actually like a sport kind of thing in America where they use dirt bikes and do stunts and stuff. So these Malaysians, they wanted to copy it, but with kapchai bikes. Kapchai bikes. Kapchai bike. And if you grew up in a really loud neighborhood, you would have heard those motorbikes just zooming past up and down the bloody streets just to, I don't know, race? They be doing stunts, the supermans, the wheelies on really regular bikes. It's really scary, but wow, impressive. Now that's impressive. But yeah, mud rumpets actually describe these kind of people. The people who take danger to another level on motorbikes. Number three. Ha. Huh. Gerak lo, apa roja. Now this word originated from gerak dulu, apa apa roja. It really feels weird breaking the words down, but that's exactly what it means. It simply means I'm gonna leave now. If there's anything, give me a call. Thanks. Bye. It's such a simple word. It got it got super viral because of this guy. Gerak lo, apa roja. Gerak lo, apa roja. That wasn't me in the helmet, don't be racist. Next up, we got perasan. Now, perasan means don't flatter yourself. No, seriously, just don't, don't perasan, okay? Don't, don't perasan. We're not talking about you, don't perasan. But to put things into context, let me just give you a situation on perasan. So imagine there's a girl walking past two guys and the girl looks at a couple of guys and just smiles, continues walking. Guy A says, eh, hey, hey, hey. I think the girl's looking at me. That girl looking at you show your face don't, don't prasan again huh? i think that's the best way i could put it stop it get some help moving on next up maci bawang ah suka je membawang maci bawang simply means anti onions i think we all know a maci bawang either in our families or our group of friends. Now, according to Urban Dictionary, this is what Machi Bawang means. <clears throat> Low-class aunties who know nothing but act like they knew everything. Not just wasting time by talking about others, they also don't realize that they are worse 
than everyone else in their gossips. Also ugly inside out. But yeah, these aunties are those busybody aunties. They just they just want to know what is going on. And even if they don't know, they just I know everything. <laughs> yes, you do. I feel like this machi category or this auntie category goes out to everyone. Like it could either be guys or girls. And also, it could be to anyone who gossips. Machi membawang. Membawang. Gossiping. No difference. And our final Malay slang that I got for you today. On ta on. On ta on simply means yes or no. Is it on or is it not? On ta on. Ta means no, not. Not? It's like saying are you on for it in context. Hey, the plan the other day? On ta on. Bro! On ta on malam ni bro! And that about wraps it up for today. I hope your Malay vocabulary has gone up the sky. Even though it's not proper Malay. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like, a share, and a subscribe. Leave a comment down below if there's anything I could improve on or any other videos that you would like to watch me make. And that's it. Gerak lo. Papa Raja.